the heck is that? What's a house phone? All I know is that. I'm waiting for it to stop ringing. I'll be back when it stops ringing. Never mind, it stopped ringing. <laughs> Good morning, good evening, and or good afternoon. It's your girl, Kesey, and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually vlogging right now, so it's kind of weird to do that while I was vlogging. I'm going to end this now. Bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome back to my channel, and today I am going to be talking about why I chose to go to the Navy. People have been asking me, like, Kesey, what made you do that? Um, why do you want to go to the Navy? Why do you want to stop nursing and go to the Navy? Uh, I want to clear up all your questions and any other questions y'all have. I'll make a part two to this video. And I'm also going to continue to update y'all on my application process. I mean, this is happening. And as you saw in the vlog, I had my interview. I didn't show y'all much because I didn't record the guy. I was kind of nervous. So I didn't record the guy or take a picture with him. So, yeah. But I do have the questions I asked him. And I do remember most of our conversation. So first, I'm going to just tell you why I chose the Navy, or why I chose the military. I'll get to why I chose the Navy. The reason I wanted to be a nurse was because I want to help people, of course, and I want to be able to further my education and my experience as a nurse by traveling around and, you know, doing different kind of healthcare techniques in different places. From that, the idea sparked to become a travel nurse. So as a travel nurse, I do understand that you, um, have, you have to have two years of experience. You have to be an RN, of course, because you can't be a nurse, like a legit nurse, if you're not, you haven't passed the NCLEX. So you have to pass the NCLEX, and you have to have had two years of experience in a hospital or any kind of like healthcare environment before you can become a travel nurse. So with that, I was thinking, well, that means I'll have to settle somewhere and work for two years and then um, sign with a um, agency to be able to get assignments around the country or wherever they send me. So I was thinking with that, like that was a good idea at the time. Like, okay, I'll find somewhere here where I live now or where I go to college or I'll go back home to North Carolina or I'll go back home to St. Louis. I don't know. I was just thinking like, I can spend two years somewhere with no problem. So yeah, basically travel nursing will start two years after I become a nurse. Probably even longer because first I have to sign with the com uh, I have to sign with the company, and you know, do all the extra stuff. That's when I started to think military. It was about June. I was sitting around doing absolutely nothing one day, and I think um, something went across the screen that said Army nurse or military nurse. And I was just like, oh, they have that. Like I, I really I thought about it. I'm like, oh yeah, they need nurses too because one, they're gonna be um, at, in war zones and um, have times where they need health care you know so nurses are needed in the military and I was like okay this is really cool and I can do this right out of college and um, I was just trying to see if I needed basic training of course you need basic training before you go to the military but if I need like um, prior training like ROTC or just like any military background and I saw that you didn't you just had to go to basic training for five weeks and do as you do as a nurse because your job title is nurse still. You'll be an officer, but you know, your job title is still nurse. Months went by, I had a lot of information about it. I hadn't told anybody about like my decision, well not really my decision, but my thoughts I, were having, I was having because you know, family members, when you say military, they think death immediately. Just, you know, just death. <laughs> and I was just like, you know, I don't wanna, I know I'm a first semester of nursing school and I don't know what I want yet, so let me get in, feel the surface, get used to the surface before I jump out there and say family, death. You know, that's basically what I'm saying to them. So I let a couple of months go by and I was praying about it because I know like, with anything I do, I like to pray about it because before I became a, a nursing student, I thought I wasn't going to make it, but I'm like, God wouldn't have put me in this position if I wasn't going to make it. You know, like, like he see, he wouldn't have brought this you this far to leave you. He wouldn't have placed, like those thoughts wouldn't have been in your mind if like it wasn't something that will eventually be a part of you. I was just asking God to give me direction. I was asking him like, is this something that just popped up and I just want to be interested in it because of the money or is it a passion like will it eventually become a passion of mine is it something that you want me to do basically they the heck is that what's a house phone all I know is that I'm waiting for it to stop ringing 
I'll be back when it stops ringing. Never mind, it stopped ringing. <laughs> so one day we were sitting in class, and it was a really short class. I think we only did a group project, and then we were able to leave. But our instructor, she came into class, and she was like, "You guys stay behind because we have some a special guest." And so we didn't find out who the special guest was until she finished her um, until we finished our group projects. And she um, she was like, "So we have." Navy recruiter, ensign, last name, and he's here to talk to you about going to the Navy and becoming a Navy nurse. And so when that, them words came out of her mouth and I saw that man in that uniform, I was just like, okay, God, okay, God. I mean, I see what you're doing, but, but for real, God, he literally brought somebody to my school to talk to us about it. Not only was he military, it was Navy. But not only did God bring military back up, he brought forth a specific area of the military that like he wanted me to see. So I just feel like everything that happens in my life is a God thing and I'm grateful for it. And that's how I wanna see it. If you don't see it like that, hey, coincidence. From that day, I knew I wanted to go to the, to the Navy. And not only just military, I wanted to go to the Navy. And so I did a lot of research on Navy specifically for about three weeks. And then I finally emailed him back and was like, you know what? I want to join the Navy and I want to meet with you to get more information about it, get my questions answered and debunk some myths. And my mother thinks I'm going to die. So can you just, you know, can we just sit down and talk about this? So that's what last week was when you saw in my vlog. If you haven't seen my vlog, you should click here because it's popping. And, um... Yeah, so that's what you saw me going to in my, uh, in my vlog, just me trying to get a better understanding of what I would be doing, what my process would be as a, as a nursing student now, as a first semester nursing student especially. We sat down and talked about everything and um, I walked out of there even more sure that I wanted to do this. The presentation basically was probably 45 minutes of just him going through his, introducing himself and what his position was and... Um, just being a recruiter. As a recruiter, you are there to see if there are people out there that are interested in the military and try to get them in and get them the, uh, as much information as they need to be able to sign up and do everything. That's my first question for him last week when I went because my mother really thought death when I mentioned the military. So mother, my question was, what is the likelihood of me going into a war zone? And his answer was, it's very unlikely. He said, in his 10 years, he's been in the war zone one time and he begged to go. And there was another guy in there, he said he's been in it for 14 years and has never been in a war zone. So like you can, I'm not gonna say you're not gonna ever be sent to a war zone. I'm just gonna say like, it's very unlikely that you be you are assigned to, you know, go to a war zone. Uh, on his PowerPoint, he was just saying like, with the Navy, you think you're gonna be on a boat all the time you're not he's been in the navy for 10 years and never stepped foot on a boat he was like yeah 10 years it's so unlikely for you to actually get on a boat unless like um i forgot what he said specifically but he was just like it's very unlikely for you to be assigned on the on a boat or in a war zone when you are on the mercy you're not in the middle of the ocean or the sea or wherever for so many months. He told me people who work on the boat are just the, uh, are just the same as people who work in a regular hospital. They come to work, they work their shifts and they leave and go home to their family. That that I mean that set me in cuz I'm like if I get on the ship will I be able to go home and start a family or whatever? That was my main question, but he said the people who work on the ship do the exact same thing um, a regular nurse does. They just do it on a ship. And then they go out every, there's always an annual assignment, whether like in a different country or like a part of somewhere, they'll go to do, um, say like Hurricane Katrina. He never brought that up, but I would think it would have to be like a natural disaster like that for um, an area, a country or something that, that would need the mercy to come give healthcare. You get what I'm saying? So like, that would be like the annual assignment um, thing and they will go out and treat those people. Here's the pamphlet. It's a really nice pamphlet and it gives you like a lot of information about it. And um, here's the boat. I think that's the Mercy. So you'll be in the Navy Nurse Corps and that's the boat that you probably won't ever see. Like you'll go see it. Like 
you'll see it but y'all once I get like into my application pro process and actually get into the Navy you know I will be able to give y'all way more information than I'm giving y'all this is what's like right here right now and what I like all the information I received from him just by being you know just being in the room with him and asking the questions I had so I'm about to do my application in I guess in a couple of weeks and I can turn it in now but they won't review it until uh, until August so in August when they do the reviewing process hopefully I'll be into the college program which will pay for the last two semesters I've had I have in nursing school like them paying for my education uh, commits commits me for four years automatically so say um, I had already applied for the um, the Navy this year and I found out in August that I was in the Navy like I was going to be able to go and they were going to pay for school that means they would pay for four semesters he said that if they pay for up to 12 months of your education that's four years anything over 12 months is another year hopefully I'll hear back by then so they can pay for school but I mean if they don't then we'll figure something else out um, but anything after the Navy they'll for sure pay for it. like if, if I want to become a nurse prac then they'll pay for that school and everything so some of the specialties that they have critical care education emergencies trauma manpower system analysis maternal infant medical surgical med surge um, neonatal intensive care nurse <laughs> I, I can never say these words together nurse anesthetist there you go uh, nurse midwife, nurse practitioner, uh, pediatrics, uh, perioperative, psychiatric, um, public health research and training management. Okay, for me, this is the process that I'm going to do. I'm going to apply, hopefully here back in August, they're going to pay for the rest of school. And after I pass the NCLEX, immediately after that, I'm going to go straight into it. I'm going to go to Long Island for five weeks, which is basic training of nothing but Navy has nothing to do with nursing just me getting ready for the Navy in the process before I get my assignment to where I'm gonna go I'm gonna be in the process of becoming an officer in the Navy I asked him last week how does you know the assignment part work like deciding where I want to go or where I'm disgusted I'm so sorry deciding where um, you know where I'm gonna be assigned and I asked him like do you choose do they choose for you and he said it all depends on what they need in a certain area and also your situation so with assignments he says if you're single legally they usually have you in the two-year uh, contract so that means you'll be assigned to a place and you stay there for two years and if you're married they'll try to extend that to up to three years maybe up to four he actually said he stayed in the place at five for five years so I mean I'm pretty sure they'll extend it so you won't have to move your family around too much so he stayed in North Carolina his decision for five years his decision he said he went to Japan he stayed there for two years he did the two-year route there and then he came to here where he is now and he said he his two-year mark ends in June so hopefully he'll be able to move to where his brother is in California so like what he was telling me it sounded like you get to choose where you want to go unless there's a better like there's an assignment someone actually wants you to go like I don't know what it's called the person that chooses your assignment your boss hopefully I'll be able to choose where I want to go because my main goal is to get to San Diego I went to San Diego last spring for our archery nationals I'm an archer if you didn't know if you want to hear more about archery comment below so we went to San Diego for our nationals last year and I fell in love with San Diego like it's so beautiful there's so oh. I just feel like it's gonna be awesome and there's a hospital it's a Navy hospital in San Diego and goals baby goals Goals! Goals. Okay, I'm finished with that. <laughs> but yeah, my goal is to go to San Diego and to basically travel. So, you remember when I said that you have to have two years of experience before you go into travel nursing? But with Navy nursing, I go straight out of uh, college. You know, like right after I get my license, I go to basic training. I go to Long Island, which I've never been to. And then immediately after that, I get my assignment to go wherever so that's basically travel nursing 
right out the door and that is what I want to do I don't want to wait two years because I never I have never imagined myself stationary because I've always traveled my entire life if you want to hear about my life story comment below so you can hear why I've lived in three states my entire life and um, how all this my passion for traveling kind of sparked I'm gonna put that down because I'm waving it everywhere but yeah my passion for traveling sparked just by me traveling my entire life, like literally living on the highway. <laughs> Not really, but you know. Um, life is a highway. You remember me singing that in this vlog? This vlog. Yeah, I really want y'all to see my vlogs, like seriously. So yeah, that's why I really chose Navy Nursing because right out the door I get to do what I want, travel. And I'm not doing this because, mainly because I want to travel, I'm doing this because I want to uh, be able to learn everything I want to float as a nurse like I don't want to be stuck in one specialty like I want to be able to jump around if I want to you know I want to do everything and that's the type of person I am I'm ready to learn new things even if it's hard that's basically how I got into archery because it was like hey I've never done this before why not it's never gonna hurt you to try and that's what I want to do I want to continue to be that person who drives to learn something more and drives to do something new and not be stuck in one spot and just not be stationary and just settle like I'm not the type of person I don't encourage anybody to be that type of person because what are you gonna see outside of you being right here you know I want um, everyone myself included to just be able to see the world see outside of your little box see outside of your home because I know people who have never left where they live and I'm just like how you know I don't want that for anybody and if I could encourage anybody to do anything I would just say get out of your box because your box is just only gonna hold you back and yeah so that's really all I have this video was really just me trying to let y'all know how Navy came about because that was out of nowhere in my vlog where I mentioned like I'm going to the Navy and like nobody even knew other than the people who follow me on Instagram Y'all probably saw me post this picture and I said I was having thoughts, but them thoughts are now actions. I'm about to apply next week and I hope I gave y'all a little bit more information. If you want more information, visit Navy.com. Find out whatever information you need and if you really want to do it, like I have this passion inside of me to do it, call your nearest Navy Corps and see if you can set an interview, not interview, but like a meeting time with a recruiter and get yourself in there y'all. Go for it. The only reason I'm where I am now is because I went for it. Just go for it. Email him. He's not gonna bite ya. Just don't be scared. Don't be stuck in a box. Thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed. And if you aren't subscribed, be sure to press the subscribe button because I really love doing this. And I love to hear y'all talk to me. Like, comment in the comment section. I want to hear y'all. Be sure to add me on all of my social media. It will be at the end of this video and also right here. I haven't edited this video, so I don't know where it's going to be. You know, I'm just... I just love y'all so much. Thank you for joining my family. If you have any requests of what you want to see me record one day, let me know. I am an open book. And again, thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.